replicator below shows parts of the solar system. Study it carefully and use it to answer the questions that follow. So A, name the parts labeled A to I. So A here is the sun and we just use a simple mnemonic that we were taught. Or if you don't know the simple mnemonic, it has to do with the arrangement of um, planets in the right order from the sun to the last planet. That is the farthest away. So the first one is my very eyes may just see under nine. Which of the parts named is known as the earth? So which one is the earth? The E actually stands for the earth. Now when you are asked questions when it has to do with practicals, don't use the actual name of the um, structure or object you are looking at. Use the alphabet they give you. Then the C says group the objects A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H into inner planets and then outer planet. Okay, so A is actually not a planet. So A is supposed to be out. So the inner planet we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and then Mars. For the outer planet, you have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So four, four for each side. Which of the labeled parts supports life? E supports life. So we are asked to give two reasons why the parts named in D supports life. One, it has vegetation. Two, it has water. Then F, give one difference between the parts labeled B and A. Okay, so B is made up of metals, but A is made up of burning gas. 